Ah, greetings one and all. Welcome back to the kitchen here today. Hope everyone's doing alright. Hope everyone's well and healthy in these troubled times. Uh, I'm not going to dwell on that today. Just going to get on with the cooking. Going to make myself a nice lunch here. Just a very simple meal of some nice fresh sea scallops. So, in my uh, fry pan here, I've just been heating just a bit of um, oil. Now all I've done to my scallops here is, at this point, it's just, um, yeah, just season them. So I'll get those. And guys, we all know the rules for scallops. We won't overcrowd the pan. I'll do them in two batches of, uh, I've got a dozen here, so I'll probably do them in two batches of six. Two, four, six, there we go. and just not too long and I am only going to par cook these because I am going to be making a butter sauce I'll be taking them off the heat making a bit of a butter sauce and then just quickly heating them up again in the butter sauce but at this moment I just want to get a bit of colour on them Now the thing to do with these scallops, of course, you probably already know, is once you've got them in a position, just don't move them around, don't slide them around, and they will hopefully caramelize a bit better. Alrighty, so I've just taken all those scallops off now, uh, the two batches of them, and I've just sort of wiped out my um, fry pan just with a bit of paper towel, got off that excessive oil. Look, there's still bits of caramelisation and that on the bottom, that's fine. So I'm just going to put in one knob of butter, big knob, and I'll just let that melt down. And at this point, we'll just put it on a slightly lower heat as well, so the butter doesn't burn. All right, moving along. So our butter's just about melted there. I've got on here about four cloves of garlic that I've just grated. That's going to go into my butter. And I've also got a big knob of ginger that I've just sort of julienned up. Roughly, and that's going to go into our butter as well. And we'll just move that around, move the garlic around, move that ginger around in the butter, and we're just getting that ginger and garlic golden. We're trying not to burn it or the butter. So we're only going to leave that go just for a minute or two, if that. Alright, once you get that yummy ginger garlic smell coming off, I'm just going to put my scallops back in there for a sec. Now they're mostly pretty well cooked. I'm just really heating them through again. Stirring them through that butter. off.
Now, that's, they're pretty good to go. Uh, what I could have done uh, with that butter sauce is actually added some lemon juice. Um, but, but because I knew I was going to be adding a fresh citrus ingredient, I haven't gone down that path. So I've still got some of these um, finger limes given to me by my work friend um, Julie, aka Cindy. And you saw them in a video not long ago. Um, yeah, so cut open. They're like these. And what I'm going to do, if it focuses, is just squeeze out some of those citrus little balls like that on top of my uh, scallops, like so. And I've got quite a few, so I'm not going to be stingy with them. Alrighty, so as you saw, I've got my um, some of my scallops here served up. Now all I'm having them with today is just some crusty garlic bread, just to help soak up some of that garlic butter. When too much garlic <laughs> is never enough, so these look to be really cooked nicely. Well, proof's going to be in the pudding. I'll just show you up close. And that finger lime, especially those red ones, just give it a really nice pop of colour like that. And it won't be a bite, the whole lot will be going in my mouth with the ginger, a bit of garlic and the butter. Mm. <laughs> mm. I don't, know if, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the crunch of those little finger line pustules going off. As I'm chewing, I don't know, it could sound disgusting, but man, it's going off. They're going off like little bombs in my mouth as I chew into those scallops. And along with the um, ginger and the garlic, it is just delicious. And man, that took no time to cook. And that's one of the nicest lunches. I'm hanging to have in a long, long time. So to that end, I'm going to sit down now and eat the rest of these. And I'll tell you what, the other half dozen are in danger as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And I also really appreciate those who've subscribed to the channel. You guys are awesome. Um, hope everyone's hanging in there, doing their thing, staying at home, all that sort of stuff that we're all sort of forced to do um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel can I ask that you just hit that subscribe button that'd be um, appreciate it and I'll see you all next time